Hi everyone. So this question says that the tangent of theta minus the square root of 3 is equal to 0. But this is the domain that we're looking at. We've got this, this closed interval here between negative 2 pi and 0. Now let's just take a quick look at what that looks like. Negative 2 pi is a rotation all the way out to here. Okay, and so what we're looking at here from 0 degrees to negative 2 pi, the angle looks like this. The, do, the domain okay, looks like this right here. Now let's take a look back at the equation here. I want to solve for the, the trig ratio, so I'm going to get that by itself by moving the root 3 to the other side. Now I see that tangent is positive, it's equal to a positive ratio. That occurs in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. Okay, so that's, those are where my angles are going are gonna to show up, so that's the answer, and then coming all the way around, that's the answer. Next thing I'm going to do here is take the inverse tangent of root 3 to get my reference angle. Let's just think about that. Where does tangent go to just root 3? What's that angle there? Okay, particularly I'm in radians. Here's I'm going to give my answer in radians. Whether you use the unit circle or special triangles, hopefully you, you see this pretty clearly. This has got to be pi over 3, okay, 60 degrees. So we're now going to take that. We're going to put that in the proper quadrants here. So we're going to look in quadrant, um, well, okay. when I, when I follow along the domain, the little arrow that I've set up here. The first one that I get to is the one in the third quadrant. Okay. Now to get to that angle, think about this. You always want to relate these things back to the x-axis. Never ever the y-axis. Okay. So if I relate this angle here to the x-axis, think of it like this. I start here, I rotate around to negative pi, but then I come back this way. So it's like negative pi and then I add that pi over 3. So negative pi, and I'm adding that pi over 3. Okay, or if you want to think of it like this, because you know that the reference angle is, actually, sorry, I should have drawn it like that. Because we know that the reference angle is pi over 3, what I know is that I'm dividing these things up, okay, the top half of this, the circle and the bottom half of the circle into thirds. Now, I'm measuring it in the negative direction, so I'm starting here and rotating this way. To get into the third quadrant, I just need those two right there. So this is really just going to be negative 2 pi over 3. Basically negative 2 thirds of pi. To get to the first quadrant, again I'm still going in the negative direction. I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of those things to go all the way around. Or you can think of it like this. I'm going to go a, a full negative 2 pi rotation all the way around, but then I'm going to add that pi over 3. Either way, I'm going to get negative 5 pi over 3. So those are my two answers, negative 2 pi over 3 and negative 5 pi over 3.